So let's talk about singular value decomposition or SVD, which is a basically a matrix decomposition techniques and see what are the things SVD is allows us to do. Yep. So when we talk about singular value decomposition, right, in linear algebra, SVD is essentially a decomposition or factorization of a matrix. Or in other words, you can take a matrix and it, you can write that matrix as a product of a set of other matrices. And that's the decomposition or factorization of a matrix, okay? Now, the SVD decomposes any M by N matrix into the eigen decomposition of the square normal matrix with an orthonormal, orthonormal eigen basis. And what is eigen decomposition? The matrix is represented in terms of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. And we have covered this in your eigenvalue lecture we have, right? So what we can do is this technique is widely adopted because it's simple uh, and very, very popular in linear algebra. And it's widely used for dimensionality reduction type of, of uh, you know, uh, methods, which we have discussed, which is the focus of this lecture anyways, right? So when we talk about SVD, right, uh, we consider any high dimensional data such as images, videos with high resolution, and we can use the SVD to reduce that data into key features which are necessary for analyzing and understanding the data when we do not need to deal with developing techniques in the original high dimensional representations that we have, okay? Now, essentially, it's a mathematical approach which maps the system of interest into a new coordinate system where it becomes simple. And this idea of taking a data in one space and mapping that into another space is the primary purpose of the support vector decomposition that we have. Now, what are the uses? Some general application for support vector decomposition or SVD is one of the techniques that is used to implement principal component analysis. And we will talk about principal component analysis in a little bit, but essentially think about SVD as being an enabler for doing principal component analysis. That's one major application. The second application is essentially to solve a set of linear equations when your matrix A is non-square. Okay, and you might have that set of equations where the matrix is non-square, then SVD could be used to solve for those class of linear systems and so on. Again, we, you know, linear regression is one of the models that requires something like this. So you can use SVD or support vector decomposition to also enable linear regression model learning, which is a class of machine learning algorithms that is used to fit for regression class of problems. Okay, now what does SVD do? The SVD allows you to decompose any data matrix such as X into a square normal matrix with orthonormal eigen, eigen basis, okay? So you take a matrix X and you write that matrix as a product of three different matrices, U, Sigma, and V transpose, where U and V are orthogonal matrices and sigma is a diagonal matrix. So if you have the matrix which is given in this form, let's say it has, you know, M number of rows and N number of columns, then what we can do is from there, we can write this matrix as a product of a U matrix, which is given here, which might have entries like this, which has like essentially U columns, uh, M columns and M rows, that multiplied by a, a diagonal matrix, which basically have entries at the diagonal, sigma one, sigma two, sigma m, and so on, right? Which is represented by this sigma matrix. And then the third matrix is essentially the V transpose matrix, where you have n by n matrix, and you transpose it, and that's the third matrix that will be in the overall decomposition of the matrix X that we have. So essentially, SVD is a way of taking a matrix and factorizing that and writing that matrix as a product of three different matrices. And this has its utility, specifically when we are talking about, you know, the overall data reduction process. So let's take an example problem and see how we can take an X and factorize that into three different matrices and how can we write a general matrix X as a product of three different matrices of interest.